Hello, food fans. Chuck E. Cheese's is open with regular higher prices now. And I got a small, small plain pizza that looks uh, pretty good and it is hot. And I also got uh, french fries and much more expensive. By the way, this is a huge order of french fries. It's uh, and they are hot but lots and lots of french fries uh, fourteen dollars total which is a lot of money but uh, Chuck E. Cheese's is finally back in business and uh, they have games and everything open so hopefully they will do well mm-hmm french fries are good It'll take a minute for them to cool down, I think. Very good. And try some of the pizza. It is very hot. Delicious pizza. Napkin here. I think I'll find a napkin here, everyone. And I want to thank my uh, subscriber who sends me the masks. I do wear these because it's uh, the law. I, I don't know if you can say it's the law. It's something that. I guess the governor and mayor have decided is the best thing to do. Whether they're right or wrong, I do not know, but I'll go ahead and wear the mask. Can't hurt. If I were prettier, I might object to the mask. I'm supposed to have rainstorms today. I want to mention a couple of things. One is PNDLR or PRNDL. What is PLNDR and PRNDL? Your um, automatic transmission gives you the choice now. Most cars, PRNDL, which is park, the reverse, neutral, drive low. They used to have. some transmissions that were PNDLR which supposedly meant you could shift from low to reverse low to reverse if you wanted to get out of a puddle of, or mud or something you were stuck in the mud you go back and forth rock your car back and forth but with what uh, PR NDL. The R is a long way from the low. Exciting stuff, huh? And some cars had a tendency for the driver when he's shooting for low, he accidentally pulls the shift lever down too far and hits the R, backs up, has an accident. So the industry and the lawmakers and so on. And Ralph Nader. Ralph Nader was a um, an author who wrote a book called Unsafe at Any Speed. It had to do with cars. Chevrolet Corvair in particular. And he claim that uh, too many people were being killed because the cars were being made unsafely, which he backed up with what he claimed. A 
but they made the story of PRNDL and PNDLR cars were standardized to PRNDL. Another thing I wanted to mention to you was the famous people I have seen in my life where I did not talk to them, but we communicated with the nodding of the head. I was at TBS, which is the Burbank Studios, it's where Warner Brothers in Columbia make their movies. And I was walking to some sound stage to work, and Bill Murray was working on Ghostbusters. And he happened to be coming down the street in the opposite direction. No one else around, just him and myself, and we passed each other and nodded. We got on the elevator one time. And on the elevator was Bobby Vinton. Some of my younger subscribers might not know who Bobby Vinton is or was, but he still is. He's a singer, and he had many gold records. He appeared in at least one movie with John Wayne. He could play several instruments. And Bobby Vinton was on the elevator when I got on, and I nodded to him, he nodded to me. I went to the third floor, I think it was, got off. He kept going. Pizza's good. I was at MGM one time. working on a TV series with James Arness called McLean's Law. And I was sitting sort of in a back area out of the way so they could do their camera setups and so on. Someone came in the side door and went over to the phone, which was near where I was sitting. He picked up the phone. I nodded at him, he nodded at me. It was Roy Orbison. Not sure what he was working on at MGM. Roy Orbison was the uh, person who inspired Elvis to darken his hair. French fry time. I was walking, walking through the uh, International Hotel in Las Vegas one time, 1970s. And the young lady walked by me as I was walking through the casino. And I nodded to her, she nodded at me. And it was Mama Cass Elliot. If you're not familiar with Mama Cass Elliot, look up Mamas and the Papas. Or just go to any YouTube video where Cass, C-A-S-S, -S, Elliot, is singing. She's a great singer, one of the best female voices ever in popular music.
as you as you go through your life, you probably will pass a celebrity somewhere. You'll meet a celebrity. You'll find that celebrities are pretty much like normal people. With a few exceptions. And they'll say hello. And you can say things like, looks like rain. Talk about the weather, talk about the traffic. If you're old enough, talk about your grandchildren. If you're not, talk about your grandparents. I've talked with many celebrities over the years. And the main reason is I always pursued the fun places to be, fun things to do. I lived in New York City, I lived in Las Vegas, I lived in Los Angeles, I lived in Hollywood. Now I'm in the Nashville area. I've known musicians. I've played music with some really great musicians. Pepsi time. fortunate and I would encourage anyone who's young and getting their adult life started go to the places you want to be and do the things you want to do and give it a try but be stable have a house have a telephone have the things you need to get by have food food's important French fries. Have a regular job. If you don't have any other income, get a job. Never think that your talent is so great that people are supposed to stop what they're doing and support you. You're not that good. I often surprise myself that people I would be talking to, working with, um, sports figures, actors, musicians, very few politicians. I met I met the governor of Nevada. Grant Sawyer when he was governor had a very short conversation with him just hello I'm Tom the sports people I've worked with were fun Show business people are great. French fry time. I got one more little piece of pizza here. Mm-hmm. 
Chuck E. Cheese's Charles Entertainment Charles Cheese, Entertainment Charles cheese Entertainment makes very good pizza. It's expensive. But if you like to play games, you want to have some fun, this is a place, I guess, to be. Thank you for joining me. Let me turn this camera around here a little bit. Thank you for watching.